Well, she has been through more ups and downs in her 17 years than most of us will ever experience in our entire lives, but today was definitely an up. It went way up for Vancouver Island's fundraising phenom, Janice Hedroff. At the future home of Janice Place, she put on her hard hat, took hold of the trigger, and pushed the red button. And as A News reporter Andrew Johnson shows us, Janice had a blast. The two-minute warning. A few final instructions. When I say go, without taking your hand off charge, push that one. Okay, I'm making sure. And Janice Edroff nice is ready to blast. Her target, a rocky ridge where Janice Place will soon stand. The result? Wait for the green light. Look up at the blast and push. That was a good one. Success and a smile. I saw dirt flying over here. <laughs> I saw like a piece of dirt going doo doo doo. Ah. Yeah, it was quite an explosion there. That was a, you could really see it move. That was great for her. Like, I'm glad they did it for her. With every blast, Janice Place, a project of the Queen Alexandra Foundation for Children, moves one step closer to reality. The eight bedroom facility next door to Victoria General Hospital will be a home away from home for island families who have traveled here for medical care. It seems some of Janice's limitless supply of positive energy is rubbing off on this place. Construction so far ahead of schedule. The usual headaches that go along with a job of this size seem to be almost non-existent. Queen Alexandra board chair Chuck Chandler can back that up. He stopped by yesterday when the sun was shining and can't believe what he's seeing. We're almost ahead of ourselves. We've got, we've got, uh, uh, we raised the money uh, faster than we thought. We were about 80% there, so that was enough to start construction. Uh, we got the land faster than we thought. Viha, this is Viha property that were uh, licensed property for us. Janice herself has been slowed down by ongoing medical issues, but her spirit remains strong. It just feels so amazing because I know as soon as this is getting started, it's going to be done in no time. The pint-sized super fundraiser and her family will be back at the site on Monday for the official groundbreaking. And Janice has requested one more turn at the trigger, but... You know you should tell your mom to get you some boots when you come out because it could be really I have muddy. I boots for her. I don't right? want to wear them. I want to wear my own shoes. No, I want the boots and they don't fit. Hey, the amazing Janice or not, she's still a teenager. In View Royal, Andrew Johnson, A News.